I guess I'll test it. No? It's just uh, the middle part has floated up, right. but this part has stayed attached to the ground. Huh. It's kind of weird. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Fisherman Norby. Out here in a conservation area, you see the sign there. We're about to walk about a half mile back in here, do some fishing. I got my good buddy Jalen up from North Dakota. He's been playing football up there. Woo! It's windy on this side. So windy. He's a red shirt up in North Dakota and also fishing with Will today. Uh, we're going to walk down to these ponds, hopefully get on some good fish through the ice. I'm excited. Let's get started. Yeah, it's just a bunch of water, but that's because the ice has rose like five or six inches from all the rain and runoff today. I guess I'll test it. No, it's just uh, the middle part has floated up, but this part has stayed attached to the ground. Woo! Send it. The sled got about an inch of water in it. <laughs> All right guys, I'm using Jalen's huge auger. He said the ice is four feet where he's at in North Dakota, so he's got this big extension in. This is awesome. Yeah, we still got a foot of ice. There's a foot, yeah. All right guys, Will did not bring waterproof boots, so I'm gonna piggyback him onto the ice. This is crazy. It's rained so much today and so much snow's melted. There's like a, a moat around the lake, but there's ice under it, but it's about a foot deep. Okay, here we go. I'm starting out with uh, the double rig. Got a couple tight lines UV ice plastics on these. I got a jig on the bottom, top one's weightless. Both rigged up with a wax worm. And uh, I borrowed TJ's Vexilar today. We're gonna see if we get any fish to bite. And we'll set that up. Turn it on here. Looks like it's about nine foot deep right here. Man, that wind is blowing. One coming up to it. Got one. Oh, big old bluegill. There we go. Look at that, guys. That is giant. That is a big old bluegill. We're going to keep some of these today. Oh, that's huge. Let's get back down. That wind's going to blow the fish away. Got one coming up to it. Oh, he's about to eat it. Oh, he missed it. There we go. I'm hooked up. Oh, yeah. Another solid gill. Wow. That is awesome. Limit is 20 a piece, but uh, probably only keep about 10 today. Um, that is enough for a good meal. But, yeah, we're going to keep catching them. There's two. Going back down. There we go. go guys. Another gilly. That's a good one. Not a bad little eater. Thanks for mine. Uh, just around the edges, though. I mean, the middle, I'm sitting over a foot of ice right now. But it's like walking on a lake to get here. Oh, hooked up. Oh, that feels like a good one. Yeah. Wow. Look at that fish, guys. Whew. Big old bluegill. Big old bluegill. Look at that. Ah, oh, I can't even hold him. He's wiggling so much. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Big old bluegill. That's awesome. There we go. We're going to throw him back. That's a big male. The males you want to throw back when they're big like that um, just because it helps the growth size of the pond. And we fish here sometimes, so throwing him back to preserve the size of the bluegill in this pond. Oh, I'm hooked up. 
I went over there to see if Jalen actually had a catfish and I caught a little bluegill. There we go. That one's too tiny though. He's going back. Let's get another one. A fish bucket. Come back, I got a fish on. There we go. Went and caught my bucket, came back to a beautiful bluegill. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's awesome. We're gonna keep you. Oh my god. This is crazy. Hey okay, guys, we are you getting one in the corner there? Okay guys, it's getting a little dark uh, for the camera inside the hut, but we got the hut set up for the last 30 minutes of daylight here. We are going to um, catch some more fish, and then we got about a half a mile haul back out of here. So I'm going to keep the GoPro going, it picks up light a little better, and catch some more. Here we go. Oh, he's hooked up. There we go. We just got the hut set up. A big one, huh? Like a cat? Oh, yeah. oh my so gosh. Try to loosen the drag a little bit. Uh, uh, you're yeah, good, it's I think. Four pound leader, so. Oh wow. Oh, you're the leader. It is fighting. Oh. The best. Woo! There you go. That's a good bass. Yeah, about a 16 inch bass. Heck yeah. Good one, man. Like two All right. I'm scooping the hole out here. I haven't even dropped down yet. This wind is howling. This is nuts. All right. Jalen's hooked up. Had a baby. Big bluegill? Oh, that is a tank. Nice. Yeah. All we're seeing is like a silhouette because of this camera, but uh, it's getting dark on us. I got one coming up to me right now. Oh, he's sniffing it. Eat it. He ate it. There he goes. All right. Oh my gosh. What a tank. Bluegill. Look how big that is. Wow. That's just a giant, guys. And this one's a big old male. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, the big females are better to keep than the big males because the big males repopulate the ponds. So I'm going to let him go. That's a giant. What a beauty. Hooked up? Nice. Oh, mega bluegill. That's a giant. Yeah, that's huge. Huge. Putting on a little Tightlines UV ice plastic. Really? Yeah. Have you seen those? No. I cut off new? cut off part of it. Yeah, they are oh. new. Yeah. It's called the Ice Baby. Is it? You have to hit that every time you catch a fish, or what? Ah, I missed it. What? Wow. Well, we caught the bass. Yeah. There you go. Hooked up. I don't know if you guys can little see. Man. Little gilly. That's a, just a huge jig. This one? Yeah. Yeah. For gills. Yeah. Huh. They don't care? Yes, no, no, no. Okay, guys, we're calling it a day. Taking the hut down right now. Super oh. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. But uh, we had a good time, we caught some good gills. I kept about 10, the other guys kept about five, 10 a piece. So we're gonna go flay those. And uh, I don't know how much longer ice season's gonna last. But we got a moat around the lake here, like you guys saw, pretty crazy. Some of the craziest water I've ever gotten onto. But we're gonna get out of here. We'll see you guys next time on Fishing with Norby.